You're watching it bit days a week, and I'm gonna uh, go over the game, the remaining games that I haven't really tried yet. And I know Comic Zone is one of them. And of course, I guess comics were really a big thing back in the 90s. And um, thanks to the. What is it? The collector market boom. And people think they can sell their comics for a huge amount if they are able to. Uh, maintain the condition. Not sure how that started actually. I just remember I was at uh, like a bookstore and I saw the X-Men number one uh, comic issue, you know the one with um, the famous one where there's blue and gold. And um, that's it, actually. That's when I started really collecting again. I had comics earlier than that, um, back in the 80s. I remember I had action comics, a few Spider-Man comics as well. thought I took care of this guy. But yeah, in the 90s it was uh, it was really huge. Everyone's into comics. Got Marvel of course, DC and then Image happened. And um, I tried to collect as much as I can but it got really expensive so I don't <laughs> really got to collect that much. I liked... Um, I like... I remember... I enjoyed uh, Spawn, Wildcats, of course, from Image. Uh, Young Blood, not actually, not so much actually. They're okay, but uh... it's not really something I enjoyed reading. <laughs> uh, of course, there's wet works. The thing is, with the um, image, they were always delayed. Oh, really? Dead. Okay. So it's kind of like the plot of... No, not really like... I was thinking of Cool World, you know, where the cartoon characters was trying to cross over the real world. Go ahead and try it one more time. See if we can do better. And if this thing had like an HD remastered, I do believe that would really look um, no really good. <laughs> Just get a I guess get a good artist. Doesn't have to be someone well known, but I guess that would help sell the game. But for comics, I'm honestly more of the story first before art. Right. 
roadkill, buddy. Honest, that wasn't all obvious. <laughs> if this is actually laid out on a um, actual comic book. It's gotta be these really weird panels. The you know it doesn't actually make sense already. <laughs> but anyway, it's just a game. It is a platform game. Well, let's go ahead and try the other games. Let's see, Comic Zone. Oh, how about this one? Wonder Boy and Monster World. Yep, I don't think I've tried this yet. This looks familiar. Is it the actual same game? I think this is also available for the PC Engine. Or maybe, I guess, maybe a sequel or something. It's um, unfortunately the graphics for this game is not really, you know, it's like a showcase for the Sega, Sega Genesis or Mega Drive. Hmm. 
Not sure how to get there. Oh, I, I think I have to... have something that would let me go underwater, maybe? Then I'll come from underneath there. This thing is a curiosity for me, so it's actually selected here, and out, out of the 900 or so games Sega has. But I'm um, unaware of its popularity even back then. Of course, um, given that I didn't have a uh, Mega Drive before. Yeah. What? Oh, come on. Timing is way off. Uh, finally. <laughs> okay. I thought I was stuck there. Arrgh. Doesn't look like much of an enemy. much blast processing happening on this game. I wish I had a longer weapon. Ah, oh, looks like a weapon shop. And uh, just maybe what I'm looking for? Small spear and I lack the gold. Can't even buy anything. And by the time I have enough gold to buy those things, I'm probably too far away and uh, too lazy to go all the way back. the enemies respawn a lot, so perhaps um, the game is forcing me to stay in one spot and farm for gold. But anyway... Just gonna proceed. like I need something and that must mean I have to go all the way back and look for that something ah okay not my kind of game there well right, let's just do one more or two I don't know let's see what haven't I played yet um yeah I guess I've played most of it, or at least a good number of the games already. Let's try this one. Puzzle in Action Tant R. Let me see. 
this never had a um, like a US release or English release I think this is like a port of an arcade game all right two player as possible oh is it it's a mini game thing I suppose it uh, reminds me of uh, WarioWare. Oh, I got that one. Oops. That's too early. Ah, pressed early again. <laughs> Alright, continue. That was terrible. That's not counted? Okay. It's interesting so far. Uh, it's, I wish I could understand the text though. sure I understand the point of this game though. Alright, it's done. Okay, how about this one? Um, is this like bejeweled or something? No? I don't understand. <laughs> Alright, something's blinking there. I gave the cherry. Oh, I think I'm supposed to look for that pattern here. Alright, let's see. Um, not as easy as it sounds. I think it's this one. Okay. Got it. Here you go. Um, probably this. Okay, I'm actually doing it now. This one. I suppose I need to. Yep. to practice your button mashing there. Kind of like the test your might of Mortal Kombat. balloon fight but you're not on a balloon you're on a plane but you're still getting balloons and uh, moves on its own actually you don't have to keep pressing your controller 
anyway, I think that that should be it for this video. Uh, just played three games today. And um, thank you for watching. You're watching 8-Bit Days a Week. Please like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.